Hey, my name's Tom Goodwin, and I want to let you know about an exciting opportunity in the next week here on Workplace. The City Ministry of Crew for the last year and a half has been hosting roadshows all across the country. And in 20 different cities, we've done a very extensive workshop called the City Roadshow, Gospel Engagement in a Changing Culture. Now we are condensing this roadshow to bring you some uh, very specific highlights and learnings from each of the six modules. So for the next six days, for 10 minutes a day, we're gonna be posting videos on our best learning from each one of those modules. And it is all uh, provided as a means to help us in these incredibly changing times as we're dealing with COVID-19. In our uh, workshop, The City Roadshow, we talk a lot about our rapidly changing culture and the 24 seven news cycle. But honestly, there's been no other time that we've faced such rapid informational distribution, information distribution that has led to sweeping global changes. And this is really impacting how we're facing ministry. And so we feel that some of these learnings from our City Roadshow are very applicable and will be very helpful for you and your teams. So at the end of each one of these 10 minute segments, we're gonna have a question that you can use to discuss and dialogue with your teams virtually or at, at however you gather. So the first module today, the mini module that we'll be doing is being brought to you uh, by Vivian Mabuni in Southern California. So I'm looking forward to hearing what Vivian has to share with us specifically about uh, the city and our culture being more like a wild field as opposed to a greenhouse. Hi everyone, my name is Vivian Mabuni and I am coming to you from Southern California. Uh, my husband Darren and I have been on staff for 31 years, uh, 28 of those years with the campus ministry of Crew, and these last several years we have served with Crew City. So this is the uh, presentation um, for the Crew City Roadshow. We originally had planned to have this content shared in Austin, Texas this next week, and as you all know, everything is not how we thought it would be. So, so we decided to get creative and bring to you some videos over the next few days with some of the, the principles from the Roadshow, which actually comes from several years of very extensive research and interviews with all people from all, all walks of life. Um, what we have found that is uh, effective in reaching a city because cities are so complex. So we're going to kind of talk through a little bit of that and give you some little background. Um, and there'll be some slides that will pop into this video. And I just really hope that the content will be helpful for you. Uh, we are in a time unlike any other. And this opportunity as we are faced worldwide with, with this pandemic could very well be a time when God could unleash his spirit and bring about um, a, a tremendous revival. And so we are hoping to have this information be something that would be helpful for you as you're seeking to minister in your places and spaces for the glory of God, for the flourishing of the city, for the lives of the people you care about all around you. So my hope is that this will be helpful. So the first thing is that we are looking at um, the, that the, the city is less like a greenhouse and more like a wild field. So the Ministry of Crew started in 1951 on the UCLA campus and uh, the campus was pretty closed in its environment. Um, I became, uh, I, I experienced my greatest growth in my college years involved with Crew and you know, people continue to come to me and share that they came to Christ through the ministry of crew. There are some great growth and um, great strength about being in a an environment that is a greenhouse. If you think about a greenhouse, it has controlled temperature and watering and uh, fertilizer. There's protection from the elements. Um, there, it's very, it's very um, controllable in that way. In that way. What we have found as we have presented some of this material, even to college campuses, is that the college campus is also changing at a really rapid rate. And so it, in, there are principles that we'll be sharing today that resonate as well on the college campus, and that's what we've been finding. So uh, the wild field, on the other hand, is really um, 
much more of our current reality. Um, the wild field has um, some influences that are negative in that it's not controllable. Um, it, the, the wild field can be uh, can undergo some tremendous challenges like drought or wildfires. Those are just things that have happened in California the last few years. Um, how much rain, how, uh, just the forces of nature. And so the, the last 20 years in particular, the world is changing rapidly. Uh, we, have, we are no longer able to approach ministry with a greenhouse type of model. And so the greenhouse is not bad, but we are needing to kind of shift some of our perspective in terms of how to best reach uh, the city, which is more of a wild field. Um, so there are a few challenges. The soil of social systems is firmly established, uh, but social systems will vary from city to city. So if you think about just in your mind's eye, the different cities that we are coming to you from Portland or LA or Chicago or Madison or Miami, all of these cities are all different and the social systems are different and unique. So there's not a uniform way to go about reaching the city. Um, also, the roots of culture are diverse and intertwined and deep in cities. So this, is, this poses as another challenge and opportunity for us. Um, we don't enter a city on, with a blank slate because there is a whole history of people that have walked um, through generations and decades. So there is a, um, a history to each city and there are beautiful and painful realities of the generations. So we come into the city as learners. The winds of the world also influence understanding. Uh, we live in an era right now with vast and quick social changes in a 24 seven news cycle. So even just for me in this last week, I've been inundated and overwhelmed with just the, all the different reports and the Twitter feed that never ends. And there's just so much content coming at us all of the time. So this influences uh, how we go about because the people we, we minister to are constantly bombarded by all sorts of information. There are negative influences that charm and distract. Um, you know, along with these elements, we need to remember that there is a very real enemy who seeks to, to, ki to kill, steal, and destroy. That is his whole objective. So we are in a real spiritual warfare. So as we shift from greenhouse mentality to the wild fields, there's a tension because um, it's, it's interesting in our, in our greatest um, desires to see a change, we just by being human really like to be in control. I know I like to be in control and greenhouses are more controllable than a wild field. So there is internal tension that takes place with this idea of control and also um, security. Um, just uh, how, how do we go about doing ministry when it's not as measurable, um, where we can't uh, anticipate exactly what the outcome is going to look like. So. Uh, it's interesting though, greenhouses, t plants, they tend to use more resources, which I find really fascinating. And as we think about a city, we know that for those of us who are crew staff, there are never enough staff, there's never enough resources. And yet God in his sovereignty, uh, he, he provides what we need and he's able to help us to partner better, to utilize and come alongside those who are also doing the same kind of work that we're doing. So that's part of the thing that I'm most excited about as far as um, really seeing real partnerships growing. So this wild field approach gives us an opportunity to trust God in ways that we may not otherwise because our resources are limited and there is so much outside of our control. Uh, so as we think about the shift, there are paradigms that we need to address. Um, one of these is what we call the cycles of momentum. Uh, they, we tend to look at ministry very much in a program, programmatic kind of way. We do events. Instead of looking at events, we want to think about just, um, it's about moments, not just events. 
we need to shift um, our thinking that it's not the events um, but and having people joining our events, but it's us actually moving into uh, the lives of others in a way that is about us. It's no longer them, it's we join you, and it's a it's a, really a flipped around um, mindset, but I think it is exactly what is um, kingdom and gospel, where we are we are here to serve and to come alongside. Um, we are um, not looking so much about us and our events, but how can we empower and allow others and allow a million expressions of the gospel to happen across our cities. So it really is a posture that we're looking at that's sh shifting. Um, really, it's us, and it's no longer them, and it's really we join you. That is some of what we're looking at. So, um, crew joins you. It's estimated by, by 2050, 70% of the world's population will be in cities. And our posture must be to spread out and aimed at empowering others. I think those of us that have been involved with crew for any amount of time, we have benefited so much um, in the training, in the experiences, and we have an opportunity to um, be learners and also share what we have with others too. I think about right now with the COVID-19 um, situation we're in, the opportunity that we're in, and I think we're going to see in the next weeks and months some of the best of the best that we can do as people made in the image of God. I also think that it can turn really sour and awful um, because of our tendency to want to self-protect and, um, and be self-absorbed. I think that we have an opportunity for the gospel unlike any other time in history, and I'm so excited that you are taking time to learn and grow with us. So um, there'll be other modules that we're going to be covering in the next few weeks, but I appreciate you taking some time and uh, sharing this moment with us as well. So thank you, and um, I'm going to sign out, sign off for now from Southern California. Take care.